right? We want to be able to invest in ourselves and to get better at the things that we are doing so that way we can become more successful. So this time I wanted to go over change and especially one thing that made a big difference in my life and how I was able to get from where I was to where I am right now. Hello everyone, before we get into the video, I just wanted to stop and tell you about what I've been doing since our last video. So we were talking about SMART goals, and I told you that I wanted to be able to complete at least a rough draft of a play that I want to write by the end of summer. And so with that, I want to give you a report, just so that I'm accountable, of course. So with that, despite having to get a new job, I have been able to write at least a little bit every day. And so far, I have 17 pages of content. And that's amazing. I mean, it's awesome. I can't believe it, really. And I think that it goes to show that just doing something a little bit each day really does add up. And if you'd start doing that, then you can work towards those big goals that you have in mind. But anyways, in order to understand a little more about how to get there, let's continue with the video. See ya. Hello, everyone. Change is a big thing and that it's something that we have to talk about because at the end of the day if you understand change then you understand how you are going to become better over time i had just graduated high school and i decided for myself that i was going to go on a self-funded ecclesiastical mission for my church i would go somewhere out in the world and serve teach and learn you know, it was a very big decision, and the more that I think about it, the more that I realize that it was such a great time to be able to expand my perspective and learn more about myself and the world. As I try to think about what big concept that can teach you about how to better yourself like the way I was able to during my mission and then into college, is understanding that humility is the greatest concept that I was able to develop in life. And humility has so much more to do with how we can improve in life than we think. You know, humility is a lot more about being teachable and being open to different things in life. And it has to do with being open to correction. I came from Southern California and I went all the way to the Philippines. And to think about the people that I met, the lives that they led, and the different locations I was able to go to, it is very, very eye-opening. You get to look around and see what it is that you're doing wrong, and then accept different pieces of things that could make a big difference in your life. Being humble has to do with accepting change, accepting correction when you need it, and taking all of that and putting it into a solid experience, ultimately leading to positive and long-lasting change, especially when you take the time to think about it and understand how it's improving your life, have new experiences, and learn new things. And when we do so, we combine this aspect of humility with the idea of strength and courage. And as soon as we realize that, then the sooner we get to go out and live and really just grab onto the things that we want, being open to things that are going to help us in the long term is the complete and utter purpose of our lives. Doing so, we become our own independent system, our own person with our own ideas, thoughts, and values. And when we do that, then that's when we have fully embraced humility. And that's when you, like me, get to have so many great experiences. And to take that all and move to a place like Hawaii and to be a part of the culture, to be grateful for what you have and where you came from, and then learn more about how you can be your own person and move everything that is you forward. That's what being humble is. And if you embrace that aspect of life into your personal experience, then you will have so many great experiences. 
That's what life is all about.